So then that, like, you know, from the little steel sandwich, I went up to this bigger plywood stand sandwich to the upper right. So that plywood sandwich is holding the head. The head tube is separately bolted in from this one big seat tube going down to the pedals. And so I could separately bolt the seat tube to different seat angles and do some semi-recumbent or some more upright and different uh, wheelbase strengths. See, this a real fun one is this upper left one, the plywood wedge brake. It's got the front end of a razor scooter pushed through a 2 by 4 and it's kind of hidden by the plywood sandwich, but there's no steel frame in the bike. That's the unusual thing. Because when you get out there riding it, it feels like a bike, but when you look inside that box, it's empty. It's just the 2 by 4 and the plywood. It's kind of a bike exoskeleton, which to me was an unusual idea. And then the lower left, you can see my father-in-law helping me work out a uh, office chair bike. And then it's over to the right is I'm still trying to make smaller and smaller bikes as the yard is filling up with all these bikes. So it's the little triangle bike. It's supposed to be just the back end of a of the bike, and then the handlebars are the under seat. And then you can see the office chair bike, the lawnmower bike. It's too fun to make. The trick if you ever want to make a lawnmower bike. Take that head tube and make it vertical because it's got two wheels in front and it'll it'll ride stable if it's if it's out the normal way and I have some pictures on the internet and I can always tell which ones are rideable and which ones aren't. But vertical head tube you can still edit your own drive, but the other one when you turn it just throws you outside. And sometimes like this. Uh, Oh, okay, so this little scooter bike, so that's a combination of a unicycle and a bike fork with a seat on it. And then a, another board, and we're just mixing all kinds of things together to see if we can make a bike and a scooter out of one device. So another one is this IKEA chair rail with a razor scooter steering and a closet pole. And then here, the, the, you can see the full, full size of the, the uh, CAD system. And this is where my daughter would sit out front. And then I've got, the, this is me, and I've got the steering through the steering axis to the front wheel. But this was a, a pretty complex tandem with a long chain line, and we had to figure out where both of us were going to sit and would I get the steering axis behind her so she could be out front with nothing blocking her view anymore. And then I got into wondering about um, high wheel bikes. So I used a unicycle and a 2 by 4 and a block of wood to make my own high wheel bike. And that I think has a little roller blade wheel, but then I decided, well, wouldn't it be fun? Does a bicycle have to have two wheels? It's kind of built into the name, but I wasn't sure. So I took the wheel off it and would just ride along grinding the stick on the road, and it was a one-wheel bicycle. It was it looked okay. And uh, you can see I was inspired by Peter outside. He's got a his bounce cycle, so that's a, a four by four board with a plywood round off of one of those cables. Just setting at an off center so you would bounce it and try to go like a locomotive. Oops. Sorry about all my jogging around, but who do you think can share the, the CAD system on the finished product? And so, so I was just running one, up, one from the other. And then on this one, the back seat was kind of fun because I sit on, a, on that seat that's on a 2x4 between long rails. And it, there's some, some rigging, there's some rig, rigging up here. And so I can tighten it up and be in the more upright position or I let it back out slack and, and have it as a seat uh, forward design just by rotating the seat up, up or back. All right, well, I think that's about all I know about bike building, but um, I'd love to answer any questions that the name has in. But you can to realize from the, the other website link you'll see on this, uh, it's called Bike Smith Design, that if you, if you just lay it out in these dimensions, in these ratios, you will have a smooth handling bike. If you get that one-inch trail, it'll handle nice.
And, uh, and then if you get the ergonomics so that the handlebars are within reach, and that your, your feet aren't crossing over the, the front wheel too far, it'll all work well. So you can make bikes really easy. And so I always thought, oh, it's this complex. I can never take that on until I go in and started doing it and realized, oh, this is not bad at all. So the thing I want to do today is show you that uh, some of mine and let you realize Yours won't be any worse than mine. <laughs> so go for it. And, and so I always keep mine in this really crude form and so you can realize you know, you're only a few minutes away from having finished the bike. All you have to do is start the drilling and you're almost there. Any other questions? Um, one of the dimensions that turns out important is this dimension for the bottom bracket cups. They need to be two and seven eighths inches apart. That's the normal distance. And, and if that block is here, one thing you can see to get away from here before it doesn't. So you can kind of see I've cut the three and a half feet. Four by four. The four by fours are always three and a half inches wide. I cut it down to two and seven eighths. This one I kind of cut evenly, but, but often I will only cut on the left side. So that I'll, I'll put the... I'll, I'll only cut on one side so that I end up with a... Uh, with a chain ring not rubbing, but in this example I cut on both sides and it rubs. So one idea is to only cut the cut down on this on this side. Uh, <laughs> that's right. So uh, only cut on the left side so that there's plenty of room over there, but you keep the chain ring out exposed where it needs to be so it's not just sawing wood while you're right. But yeah, it's those subtle little things I find over time help out. So uh, Douglas fir 4 by 4s are way sturdy. That's, you know, that's easy. Um, I've, I've built it with a stack of two 2 by 4s before. But I haven't really ever tried to figure out how thin I could get. Uh, some guys over here building a bamboo bike. I don't know if anyone got to see the tech shop guys are working on their prototype. It looks pretty fun. I, I went to the shop and built a bamboo bike once and it, it's a neat way to, to do it also. Yeah, any other questions? And how are we doing for time? It's about it's over. <laughs> so if anyone wants to ride the bikes, we can take them outside and ride them.